wake of all these stages, and thus perfectly clean, snow-white and nourishing milk is produced from the blood and semi-digested foodstuffs that human beings cannot consume directly. Human beings are neither able to directly consume the semi-digested foodstuffs in an animal's stomach, nor the animal's blood itself. Moreover, if they do consume either one of these, or a combination of both, it can result in serious food poisoning, or even death. Yet thanks to the exceedingly complex biological systems he has created, God bestows on us a health-giving, clean and nutritious drink from these fluids. The formation of milk is a great miracle on its own. Yet the fact that such detailed information concerning it is provided in the Quran is by itself yet another miracle. The description of the biological formation of milk in this verse is in considerable agreement with the facts revealed by modern day science. It is quite clear that such information, requiring detailed knowledge of mammals' digestive systems, could not have been known at the time when the Quran was revealed. This information is one of the proofs of the omniscience of Almighty God. Human beings need oxygen and air pressure in order to live. Breathing enables the oxygen in the atmosphere to reach the air sacs in our lungs. With increasing altitude, however, atmospheric pressure goes down as the atmosphere becomes thinner. Therefore, the amount of oxygen declines and it becomes harder to breathe. As the air sacs grow narrow and contract, we feel as if we cannot breathe. If the amount of oxygen in the blood is less than the body needs, several symptoms emerge, such as extreme fatigue, headaches, dizziness, nausea, and loss of judgment, just to list a few. When a certain height is reached, it finally becomes impossible for a human being to breathe at all. This is why we need oxygen bottles and special clothing in order to survive at such elevations. Someone at 5,000 to 7,500 meters above sea level may faint and go into a coma because of breathing difficulties. That explains the presence of oxygen equipment in airplanes. The difficulty experienced in breathing with increasing altitude gives rise to a contraction in the chest and a feeling of tightness. This scientific fact is revealed thus in the Quran. When God desires to guide someone, he expands his breast to Islam. 
When he desires to misguide someone, he makes his breast narrow and constricted as if he were climbing up into the sky. That is how God defiles those who do not believe. The inhabitants of the Arabian Peninsula in the 600s had, of course, no means of flying in the air or climbing mountains or climbing mountains thousands of meters high to permit them to experience the shortness of breath referred to in the Quran. Yet this information was given to Muslims in our exalted scripture, the Quran, a clarification of everything. The star Sirius is the brightest star in the night sky. Astronomers have calculated its distance from us at being 8.5 light years. It was noted only in very recent times, thanks to modern telescopes, that Sirius moves together with another star, much smaller than itself and invisible to the naked eye. Scientists call this two-star system Sirius A and Sirius B. The larger of these is Sirius A, which is the brightest star that can be seen with the naked eye. Its mass is three times that of the Sun, and it is ten times brighter than it. Sirius B, on the other hand, is a white dwarf star. It cannot be seen with the naked eye. It possesses approximately the same mass as the Sun, although since its diameter is only four times that of the Earth, it is very much more dense. The stars in the Sirius system are heading towards our direction at thousands of kilometers an hour. The duration of the rising of Sirius on Earth's horizon is exactly the same as our solar year. In other words, 365 days and six hours. Because they had discovered this interesting common feature in the star Sirius and the solar system, the ancient Egyptians declared the day when Sirius first appeared on the horizon to be the first day of their calendar year. Because of such characteristics, the star Sirius became a focus of interest for a great many ancient civilizations. It was believed that this star possessed various powers, and some people even went to such excesses in their depravity as to worship it. The fact is, though, that it is God, the Lord of the worlds, who created the star Sirius and all the features it possesses, just as he did everything else. God refers to Sirius, known as Shira in Arabic, in verse 49 of Surat An-Najim of the Quran. It is He who is the Lord of Sirius. The Sirius double stars orbit in ellipses around one another. The orbital period of Sirius A and B about their common center of gravity is 49.9 years. This scientific data is today accepted with one accord by the departments of astronomy at Harvard, Ottawa and Leicester universities. This information is reported as followed in various sources. Sirius, the brightest star, is actually a twin star. Its orbit lasts 49.9 years. As is known, the star Sirius A and Sirius B 
orbit each other in a double bow every 49.9 years.